All right, welcome back, everybody. So, um, we are pretty much coming to an end with our Crazy Cabby tutorial. I think we still have a little bit, maybe one or two more videos in that series. Uh, but since we're coming close to an end, uh, I want to try and introduce to you a brand new project. Now, this project is um, its not complete yet. Um, and before I show you, I just want to say a few things. So, uh, our first series um, for beginners was um, on our car game, the Crazy Cabby tutorial. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to check that out. Um, so it's not a direct prerequisite um, for this one because we'll be talking about different topics and different things uh, throughout this course. Um, but it is uh, very be beginner friendly, that one. Uh, and uh, there's many core things that we learned in that one. So if you haven't had a look at that one yet, uh, I'll leave a link in the description and be sure to check that out because um, it's been a long tutorial and I think we've all just come a long way in that one. So don't forget to check that out. Now, uh, with respect to this tutorial, as I said, this is not a complete project and I'm actually open to suggestions um, about the kind of direction that uh, I might decide to go with this project. Um, but yeah, there were some key things that I wanted to um, discuss, which we hadn't discussed um, in the original um, uh, original first series on this channel. So uh, I decided to make a whole new um, little game simulation, and we'll look at some of those core concepts. So I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to show you what the game is about. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the background music. Um, I can just maybe uh, mute that. So you guys can hear me. So I guess I put it on the camera. Is that right? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So we have our game. And um, first of all, let me just go ahead and turn on my joystick. All right. So we've got our character moving. It's a bit of a top-down uh, situation here. Um, and we have an enemy. I've disabled him right now. Uh, but I'll show you uh, what he can do. Uh, we've got a little top-down type RPG type camera angle. Uh, it's um, fixed camera angle, so uh, you can't really rotate the angle, uh, and it's like that. Um, so already you can notice that um, one of the first things uh, that we're going to learn in this tutorial is animating our players. So this is something we didn't do in Crazy Cabby, but um, obviously animating your players, uh, such as the walk movement and the idle state movement is... Um, very important. So we'll be looking at how Unity, how we can handle these animations and how we can make um, transitions from different animations uh, in Unity. Once again, I want to emphasize the fact that this is going to be relatively beginner friendly. So we're not going to be going into some extremely complicated blend trees and uh, inverse kinematic uh, situations, not just yet. Uh, but still, we're going to be looking at uh, basically it's going to be a first attempt at looking at how um, we can um, start animating our characters and go from, you know, attack animations and things like that. So uh, with that said, we will have you can see some uh, pickups so we can go ahead and we can pick up. Well, the pickups, and they don't really do anything. Uh, at the top um, left, we have a score counter. Now, it's just fixed at 10 right now because I haven't wired it up, but after the Crazy Cabby series, you guys are masters at wiring things up with the UI, so I haven't really bothered. Uh, as I said, this is still quite incomplete. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the enemy, uh, and that's the second big thing that we will be learning. So, let me just find the enemy here. And let me turn on the enemy script. Okay. So as soon as I turn him on, uh, you can see that he is following me. So we have some sort of AI going on, and Unity makes it very easy uh, with the nav mesh agent and the nav mesh. So we will be looking at how we can do uh, do some AI for our game. Now you notice he's chasing me, he's chasing me, and if, if I come too close, he's going to try and hit me. And um, in this case, he got me, and you saw some blood splatter in the background. Of course, the Unity editor plays tricks on us, so I'm going to go ahead and run the game one more time. I'll leave the music on, and uh, we'll look at how it goes. Okay, let me just turn on the enemy.
All right, so as you can see, we have some background music. Uh, we have some sound effects when um, the uh, when the enemy eats us and when we take the pickups. So that is something that we will be looking at as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, one more thing I want to say is that all of these assets, I, I was I, when I initially started making this project, I was using some paid assets, but I realized nobody wants to make a game, um, which, well, you know, uh, if I make the game with paid assets and you're following along with some random free ones and it just doesn't look or feel fine or you're having some sort of problems, I always had those issues whenever I was following uh, a tutorial uh, like that. So I decided to actually go back and look for some cartoon hand-painted type situations and all of these models that you see are free in the asset store. The asset store is really wonderful in that sense. Um, so yeah, uh, what you see is what you will get. Um, of course, as I said, there's limitations when you go with you know the free situations, but we're here to learn. Uh, and these all these are obviously placeholders. So now I want to talk about um, the kind of direction um, that we could possibly go with this. Um, the main, the main focus here is to look at the Unity's animation. Uh, the second main focus was um, to look at some um, uh, some elementary, basically some elementary nav mesh agents and AI setup, which we looked at uh, in the gameplay. And um, that that's what I was going for. And uh, essentially, this could just be a simple game demo where you go around and you pick up these... Um, Pickups uh, in this particular demo, the pickups are not randomly spawning. So eventually, what you would have is you would have these pickups randomly spawning all around the map, and you'd be going and picking them up as you go. Um, so at the moment, uh, we could just leave it at that. Uh, so there's a score counter, and it's just giving you score, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want, if you guys have any suggestions on things to do, then um, I'd be more than interested in doing something else with this project. So, for example, we could have some sort of situation where as you know, you progress, the enemy gets faster or something like that. Um, maybe we could, um, you know, I just thought of some different angles very quickly, Just and, and I'm still thinking out loud. I haven't committed to any of these yet. Uh, but things like, uh, for example, having some pickups, giving you some sort of special powers, maybe some projectiles, so we could like um, maybe knock back our enemy we could kill our enemy. I also thought about maybe having different spawn points for different enemies, different waves of enemies. There's just a whole lot, and I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I just quickly drew up this um, this little um, demo, and I figured I'll, I'll see what you guys have to say. And uh, maybe uh, it'll help me decide on a particular angle. Um, one more cool thing that I was just fooling around with was um, the, the water um, uh, asset... Um, from the from from Unity standard assets, and uh, I thought it looked really cool, and it was really sparking my um, imagination because um, what I, what I what I mean is, let me just go ahead and mute the music, and yeah. So one of the cool things was, so as you can see, there's the um, water, and I was just thinking um, if I can find the water. And as you can see, if I increase the water level, um, you can um, you can see that I put in some rain effects as well. Um, again, they were at the moment they are just strictly um, what can I say? They were just strictly for making the scene look a little bit prettier. But you know, once I put the rain in, I started thinking about water, and I started you know um, you know fooling around. And I I mean there might be something there, you know, with the rain and the water collecting and the water level rising. And you know you can think of all sorts of cool fun dynamics. Like like, for example, this little slime guy could become faster, and the water, um, uh, the higher the level uh, of the water, the slower your your person becomes because, you know, it's harder to walk around uh, with, let's say, you know, uh, knee-deep water, or in this case, well, neck-deep. Um, so those were some things as well that I was thinking of um, uh, where, uh, for example, uh, we could somehow find a way to tie in the power-ups with the water level. So let's say that it starts off like so, and then the water level is slowly, um, so it's raining, and the water level is accumulating and it's increasing and increasing and there's these slime things which keep getting faster there could be one or there could be multiple and they keep getting faster in the water and using these power-ups maybe we have to do something um to release the water or something i was thinking in terms of maybe setting up some sort of drainage system some sort of pipe type situation um where uh you know 
you have to go and take these pickups and then they allow you to shoot some projectiles and you have to hit the drains and break them open and then the water level goes down momentarily. Um, some all, all sorts of dynamics like that. Um, so yeah, it'd be really cool to hear from you guys. But as I said, the main focus uh, was going to be just to have a some sort of a quick prototype, but also be able to discuss some of these key um, elements. And as always, uh, I really wanted to focus on making something visually beautiful. So it's really important for us to learn core concepts, but uh, today's world, um, you know, when you want to show someone uh, a prototype or you want to show them some sort of a demo, uh, then people really want to see something visually pretty. And I think this, um, given the fact that we're just using free assets, um, I think, excuse me, I think this looks really pretty. Um, the background um, or the ambient um, color and everything, the light sources are sort of bluish to give this a nighttime kind of a feel. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm overall really happy with this and I hope that you guys like this. Um, if you guys are excited, just, you know, don't forget to like, to subscribe, to comment. If you have any ideas for the kind of direction that you would want this project to go into, just some cool fun ideas that you'd like to see me implement, don't forget to just uh, write them down in the comment section and I I will for sure um, try and um, test them out and it'll be fun to see where we can go with this project. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a fun little project uh, and uh, this is what we're going to be looking at next. And um, yeah, um, thank you so much. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and I will hopefully see you soon in the next video. All right.